Hey everyone, it's Rita, and I'm just going to do a quick video. Don't mind me, I'm really tired, <laughs> so I'm laying down doing it. Um, but I feel like I haven't talked to you guys in so long, like actually, I did a talking video. I've done a lot of the um, belly shot videos and, um, you know, miscellaneous videos and things like that. But I am actually 35 weeks today, um, and I guess I have a little bit I can tell you guys. Um, I just got back from a, a baby shower, so it was it was long. It was from, from like three to eight, I was there, and I just got home, and it's like nine o'clock now. So I'm kind of pooped for the day, um, but as far as I go. Um, I've had a bad last two weeks, to be honest. <laughs> um, besides my baby shower, that was good. I had lots of fun. Um, if you guys didn't see the video, check that out. Um, it says Baby Shower 925-10 is the title of it. And I had a great time. Um, the weather worked out for me. It did not rain, thank goodness, because we were outside in like a tent and we had tables out there. It was like a barbecue-ish type baby shower, but I got lots of great gifts from both sides of the family. Lots of friends came. Um, I put it all away. Um, there are still a few things that I need that I did not get at the baby shower, but um, I'm going to use the gift cards. I got a lot of them. Um, the Visa gift cards and the actual Baby Zara's gift cards, so I'm going to use that those gift cards to go out and get the stuff that I did not get which are things like a diaper genie, um, a breast pump I'm going to get. Um, I still need a changing table. I wasn't sure if I was going to actually get a changing table. I was actually going to hold off on that. Um, but then I decided that I think I might get one. Um, probably just because for the first week, couple weeks to a you know, month, she's probably going to be co-sleeping. And I have, um, I don't know if you can see it, I have this in my room. I hope you guys could see that because I had no idea where I was pointing. But um, I have the play yard in my room that she's going to be sleeping in the bassinet. And um, it has the changing table on it and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, I won't really need an actual changing table until a few months later. So some things I didn't know if I was going to go out and actually buy right now or if I was going to wait until, like, Black Friday or something and try to get some good sales on it. But, um, so, yeah, so like I was saying, you know, changing table. I actually didn't get any bottles at my baby shower, not one, and that's so weird. Um, I already had a few, though, but, um, you know. Um, so I'll probably get some of those. Um... Because she'll probably do breast milk out of bottles, too. Um, what else happened? Oh, yeah. So, why my past two weeks were kind of horrible? Well, um, after my last... Wait. After... Wait. Not my last update, because my last update was only a week ago. I just didn't talk in the video. But anyway, two weeks ago, I had my doctor's appointment... And, um, let me set up. Ugh. I felt like I looked fat <laughs> laying there, and I still kind of do, but anyway. Um, I had my doctor's appointment two weeks ago, and the day after my doctor's appointment, I woke up that morning, and I had a sore throat, a stuffy nose, and a cough, and I felt horrible, like, absolutely horrible. It was the worst. And um, I actually ended up being that way for about a good week. I was sick as a dog. And I mean, like, I didn't want to get out of bed. I missed my internship twice because I go twice a week. I missed it for the whole week. Um, I missed school. I missed class. Um, it was just bad. I was just, like, bedridden. Like, I didn't feel like doing anything. I had a horrible cough. And then, um, like, three days into it, I found myself, like, doubled over the toilet, throwing up like crazy. 
So this happened at, I'm 35 weeks. This happened at 33 weeks. Um, so, like I was saying, after the throat incident, I was like, you know what? Because I was just doing lots of fluids because I didn't want to take any medicine. And then I was like, you know what? I'm going to call um, the doctor's office and tell them what's going on. So they told me, you know, take some Robitussin. And so I went out and got some Robitussin, and the next day I felt better. But um, to be honest, I took two doses of Robitussin, one in the morning and one that night, and I felt good the next day, but then it came right back. And, gosh, probably all the way up until just yesterday, so like a week and a half, two weeks, I was really feeling the blues, and the last thing that I just got rid of was my sore throat. And I just had my doctor's appointment on Friday, and um, I asked about the flu shot, and she does recommend me getting a flu shot and an H1N1. Um, she said that the doctors recommend it, and but I don't know. I really don't feel comfortable doing, well, I don't feel comfortable at all with the H1N1, not even for myself. So I'm definitely not going to get one while I'm pregnant. But um, the regular flu shot, um, I don't even know if I feel comfortable doing that with a baby. I don't know, just because they're so, you know... I don't know my exact reasoning. I don't know. I just really don't feel comfortable with getting a flu shot while I'm pregnant. Um, I would rather just try to keep myself from being sick. Um, but anyway, so that's what they said. And then this past week that just went by, I'm starting to experience swelling. And it's really not both feet. It's more or less just my right foot. It's like my right ankle and like the arch in my foot is hurting. And it's weird because my other friend who's pregnant, she said the same thing. She's like, it's just one foot, just my right foot. And I was like, that's weird. But um, I had the doctor look at it at the doctor's appointment. And um, at the doctor's appointment. And she said that I was swelling a little bit. And she said she thinks that I'm starting to gain water weight because I actually gained five pounds for my last appointment, which was two weeks ago. So in two weeks, I gained another five pounds. And um, now overall, I think I'm at, gained for the pregnancy, I think I'm at either 25 or 30 pounds gained so far. I'm not sure. But it seems like every week now, now that like I'm in my later months, it seems like I'm gaining um, pounds every week where before there would be like weeks where I didn't gain anything. Um, you know, I would go a couple weeks and weigh the same thing. Um, so she just told me to watch what I'm eating, but she thinks that it's probably mainly just the water weight and not to worry about it. She thinks that once I give birth that it's probably, I'll probably lose most of it, the majority of it in the hospital, which would be excellent if I did. Um, what else has gone on with me besides being sick and miserable? Um... Lots of movement. She moves like crazy. I don't know if it's just the late months or what it is, but she really like moves around now. And um, she's she's just always moving. It feels like it's getting tight in there. I'm not sure how much more room she has. Um, but everybody's definitely telling me that my stomach has gotten bigger. Um, everybody's saying that. And um, I, I agree because <laughs> I feel heavier and, um, yeah, she's she's got to come out of there soon. <laughs> um, what was I going to say? Oh, the, the urination. <laughs> urination. I, said, I don't know why I said it like that. That sounds so nasty. But using the bathroom um, has increased again because in, like, my second trimester, it wasn't too bad, me having to go to the bathroom. But now it's it's getting crazy again. Like, I'm getting up at least three three or four times throughout the night to, to use the bathroom. And um, before it wasn't so bad, but now that I'm a little bigger, it's it's kind of killing me because I really have to, like, roll out of bed. Like, it's crazy. I have, like, a technique to get out of bed because I'm so heavy and I can't, like, if I'm laying on my left side to roll over to my right side and actually get out of bed, it takes so much energy. I actually have to have, like, a, a little technique that I do. So, um... Yeah, that's kind of annoying. Um, but, you know, it comes with the, the later months. And um, 
like I said, my doctor's appointment was on Friday, and she told me that my in two weeks I have another appointment on the 18th. And she said that that would be my last two-week appointment, and they're actually going to start doing internal exams at my school and check me for dilation and everything. Um, so that's exciting. Um, I'll start getting checked out. And um, she's not going to be there. They actually have this very young, fresh out of college OB that's going to be doing my internal exams. <laughs> so, um, yeah, blush kind of crazy, but um, he's going to do the first two appointments, and then my regular doctor is going to take back over. She's just going to be out for, like, two weeks. So, um, and then after this appointment I have on the 18th, then I start going every week. So I have an appointment on the 18th, then I have one on the 25th, then I have one on November 1st, and then one on November 8th, and they said hopefully that'll be the last appointment I have, and um, I'll have a baby by then, because my due date... My original due date was the 7th, and then they changed it to the 12th because of my ultrasound. So they're like, well, if you come in for an appointment on the 8th, hopefully, you know, you won't see us again. And I hope not. And the doctor who I have my last that last appointment with on the 8th, he's the one who, like, sent me to the um, hospital over, like, my blood pressure just being, like, a little high. So he's, they said he's, like, a tight, the uptight doctor. So I have a feeling that if I still haven't gone into labor um, by the time that appointment comes around, that he's probably going to, like, schedule me for an inducement date anyway just because of how uptight he is. So, um, but, yeah, guys, that has been my my week. And this video, I don't – I'm going to label it week 34-35 because if you actually look at my updates – I don't have a 34-week video um, because I did, what, what did I do? My baby shower video instead? Yeah, I posted my baby shower video. But um, I'm going to do my 34, 35-week video just because I'm really not sure if I'm 34 weeks or 35 weeks. Um, I started, when I started doing my videos, my first video I did, I was 19 weeks. But I was originally going by my November 7th due date, and then they changed it, but I didn't want to, like, switch up my videos in the middle of it. So my videos are actually on track with my November 7th due date, but my due date is actually November 12th now. So I'm 34 slash maybe 35 weeks. Get it? <laughs> so it's confusing. I really don't know which week I am. So I'm going to label this video 34, 35 weeks, and... From then on, it, they're going to be labeled like that, 35, 36, question mark, 36, 37, question mark, all the way probably until I do an L&D video. Um, and then I guess once I go into labor, we'll get a better idea of whether I was really 34 or 35 weeks. <laughs> so, yeah, guys, that's that. And I know you guys are waiting for me to do a freaking nursery tour video. Um <laughs> But I just wanted to get those last couple things put in her room. I know I said I was going to do one after the baby shower. And her nursery is, like, perfect to me. I mean, it has everything in there that I want. But um, I was thinking about doing the changing table. And I'm going to go look at those. I might do that tomorrow. And if I, you know, decide on a changing table, then I definitely want to have that up before I do the video. Um, but I'm going to stop being picky. I'm going to get it to you guys soon nonetheless. But most likely, the next miscellaneous video that I'm going to do is going to be um, my hospital bag video. So, that's actually sitting over there on the floor. And it's mostly, mostly all the way packed. I still have to put a few things in it. And so, I'll probably finish that tonight and then get the video up to you guys sometime later on this week. So, you have something else to look at. Um, so, yeah. So, let me see if I can show you guys my stomach real quick. me belly. So, yeah. So, 34 slash 35 weeks. Who knows, but I'm still doing good, guys. Still waiting for the arrival of Kimura. 
and I cannot wait. So, thanks for watching, guys. Comment, subscribe, and love you. Thanks for watching. Bye.